Well, let's settle in. I don't know for how long I'll be playing tonight. Tomorrow's Christmas for me. Not, It's not Christmas Day, like, officially, but it's when we do Christmas, so... I'm gonna be away all day tomorrow. I gotta... I don't have to get up early, but, like, early-ish. To kinda drive out, but... Okay. Good luck with the farm work today, you. Drop by the vineyard later if you want to say hi. Alright, so she's between both. That's nice. Okay. Oh, what do you want, Goss? Good morning. Oh, what a beautiful day, huh? You know, as the saloon owner, I hear everything that's going on in town. Remember when you first moved here? Everyone was a bit unsure of what to expect. A stranger from the city? An unknown personality? One sec. Sorry, I have to stir this pot every five minutes. Anyway, what I was- what was I saying? Oh yeah, you know. It's like when you're making a sauce. If you put in a new spice, you could ruin everything. Spontaneously combust your sauce. But then again, there's always a chance you'll create something new and delicious, right? Haha. -ha. I hate it when my pizza sauce explodes into flames. Uh, what I'm trying to say is, it's been great having you in town, and I've come to think of you as one of my good friends. Anyway, I came to give you something. I was cleaning out the back room and found this old mini jukebox. I want you to have it. Yay, good. I still have to craft one. Anyway. It's actually an old do-it-yourself project from mine many years ago. They're pretty easy to make, so just in case you wanted to make more, I brought the blueprints for you. Okay. Well, I'm gonna head home. I gotta get this marinara back on the stove. Have a good one. Well, this is permanently going into storage. Okay. Thank you for the delicious leeks. They look fresh and delicious. George will love them. Today I'm going to surprise him with tell little gift wrap treasures. Thanks you. Stop by if you want to be there. I guess we pop in. Flip this letter over for instructions on how to make a super healthy meal. Red plate. 500 gold from the agricultural fund. Alright, that's it. I gotta think what I'm doing now. I mean, I guess it's working for the, the house, which is like 100 grand. And friendships. Wait, I have a mini coffee machine. Wait a minute. That's a big one. We have a coffee maker. I wish I could put it on the counter itself. But it doesn't allow it. Um, okay, I guess put it. Here. Wait, what the? No, wait, no, it can't? Okay. Fine. Here. I'll move if it really bothers me. Uh... Uh-huh. Okay, what can I do to con- I mean... I think these can go. I think I'll just sell these. Okay. Hey, Nick, how's it going, dude?
guess is all lined up. Except this one. 24. I mean, I could leave them all like. I could leave them for another day, so then in the interest of aligning all of them, I might do that. Then they're always uh, coming off at the correct times together. Okay. Well, these are done. Doing pretty good, how about me? Yeah, pretty good as well. I spent most of my day today video editing. Just cutting up the video for this year. I'm pretty much done, but I might have to do like a little bit on it on Christmas Day, and then I'll chuck it out that same day. Tomorrow I won't be able to work on it because I'll be away, but... For the most part, it's done. Okay, that's 15. Oh, I guess. Ugh. These need to go somewhere later. I have more ancient seats. Um. But yeah, I mean, it should be good. It was a bit easier this year because of all the clips that were made. But I also tacked on stuff that people haven't seen, so... It's not just clips of streams. Um, I guess I'll go buy cauliflower and just put it in here. I don't really have anything. I guess I could go buy star fruit. That might be another way to do it. I kind of let the end of the year sneak up on me. Like, usually I'm on top of things. And I realize, oh shit, it's like almost the end of the year and I haven't edited anything yet, so. Thankfully it wasn't too much of a pain. There's still time. Yeah, but it's more or less done. It's pretty straightforward when those clips. But there were a few things that I had to like manually do myself, but it wasn't too bad. Was that Sophia's fault with the flowers? Yeah, I think she put that there herself. I didn't bring her anything. Whoops. What does her part of the house look like? I don't think I have that house yet. I think that's the next house where she gets her own room. Wait, what did I do that? What did I... 
What did I just do? I just I didn't even go buy something. I just went there to talk to her and then didn't do anything. Good job. Um, alright. Gee, that's basically all my money. But, I mean, it's an investment. I'll be able to make it back. So this is also for next season as well, so I kind of got a head start on it. I went out to buy for a while. Okay. Uh, I mean, I'll go. I'll walk around town and see what I can do. What about, let's see. Well, it's Monday, so there definitely will be gift opportunity. Um, Krobus. Get a few of these. Wait a minute. No, it's okay. Uh, Catfish for Willy. Two peppers. And I'll get a couple of gems for the people that don't like flowery stuff. That'll do. Alright. We'll see where we can run into town. What did he want? Sashimi, uh, yeah, well, um, present, okay. Sun, sunfish? No. I need to catch a, uh, a puffer fish. Hold on. I need to look up when this fish is caught. It's summer, okay. So it's only summer, but it's all seasons on ginger and other. Then we don't have to worry about it yet. Why would you individually wrap the leaks? Warrior, what's the meaning of all this? Is this some kind of prank? We wanted to show our appreciation. Leak. My favorite, just like Mama used to make so many years ago. Hmm, <laughs> wow. How's the game? Well, it's going well. Progressing. <laughs> Making money. Well, that, uh, hmm. I guess maybe I'm not as forgotten as ignored as I thought. How's it going, Gammy? Thanks, son. You made an old man's day today. Okay. Have another one. Z. Yeah, I think he's too busy, but I think I can gift him anyway. Yeah, okay, cool.
it's just a pretty lukewarm reaction, like, thanks. Oh my, this looks wonderful. Okay. Gem. 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 Emily. Emily! Gem. You got keys to your new place you're moving into after Christmas. Oh, nice. Must be exciting. Imagine if the only way to make friends was to give people stuff. <laughs> yeah. This is an amazing gift. I mean... You can do it by talking, but I guess it would take an eternity. I don't have anything for the bee chip stuff. Wait, just like in real life? Nah, come on. People aren't that bad. I mean, there, there are some people that are, but... Where's Willy? He's somewhere unknown. I'm not sure where that would be. If the old place you were in got burnt, someone in the apartment had an oil lamp and tipped it over. I think you mentioned that. That's like scary shit. Sun. Well. If I'm gonna do the sunfish thing. Right. If I'm going to do the sunfish thing, I may as well do this. It doubles up. I won't be able to catch them now because I think they cut off at 5 p.m. Uh, or is it sunfish? I'm trying to find it. Uh, it cuts off at 7 p.m. Okay, so I can catch a couple. If I'm quick. <laughs> can buy you as a friend with food. Yeah, but... Okay, there's one. I mean, would you be friends with someone that bought you food but then was just extremely obnoxious? Like, the worst you can imagine. Just a public embarrassment. Would you still do it? I'm not sure if it's like 7 p.m. cutoff or it's available still at 7 p.m. Okay, well, too late now. So, this is easy. It's just catch twice the amount. You would finish your free food first and then leave, but that's not, that's not really friendship, though. Let's say 
it was almost like a contract where you had to spend a, per a required amount of time with the person to maintain said friendship. Like, I'm aware that the moment you say contract, it's like, well, it's not really a friendship, but, like... You know, you have to hang out with them. But I put the sashimi. There it is. Um, Pierre's in his house. But I don't think I can go in there. Wait, Pierre, damn it! Wait, I can. Oh no, I went to Abigail after dark. Hey, I was hoping you'd chop. I want to show you something. Damn it. Okay, whatever. See, this is called a spirit board. Have you ever used one? Put your hands on the planchette with me. Now the spirits will guide us towards our... Look, it's moving! The first letter is I. Next le Next is... Okay, heart is not a letter. Wow, look at it go. It's spelling I love wah. I love wah. Oops, accident locked over the board, haha. <laughs> it's just a silly game, it doesn't mean anything. Could have just said I like I love water. Or I love watermelon. I have something to do, you'll have to go sorry. You know, she sent me a letter to go do this. And I was getting married at the time, so yeah. Yeah, but like, hold on. Pierre? Yeah. Okay. It's about time. I was starting to get the shakes. I wanted this fish so bad. No, that's good. What? What do you mean you were tr starting to get the shakes? <laughs> what? Does he have, like, this hopeless addiction to fish? What? I'm so confused. He's like, oh, yeah, that's the shit. That's the shit right there. Inject that sashimi directly into my veins. Yeah. Just like snorts a line of sashimi on the counter. He's at the pier. I might still be able to catch him. But okay, I guess, yeah, if you... If it was a contract, you wouldn't hang out with him by the sounds of it. That's fine. I'm just trying to think of a scenario where there's, like, a social expectation. And there's an exchange for, like, a gift. He's already gone. Wait, no he's not. What? Oh, he's on this pier. Don't go home yet. What? Oh, wait. What? Huh? Huh? Where is he according to this? He's in the fish shop. Okay, so that map is a little deceiving. It's got the icon on the wrong spot. Well, I got tricked. Oh, 
I was fooled into believing I could give him a fish. Okay. I just want to see if I need to keep them. You got to keep the fish. You got to keep the fish, so I don't have to hang on to them. Okay, we might be able to put more casks down and expand operations here. Yeah, another four. I mean, does the job. I'm just thinking I should hang on to these or start selling them, but... I mean, I'll hang on to them for now, but the aging process is what's going to be interesting. Oh, if I would have harvested, I could have put two more on. Oh, well. It's okay. Alright, uh, I guess we're jumping onto the sunfish thing right away. Coffee. I need to save coffee for Harvey. Have you been practicing seeing you move? Tomorrow's a flower dance. Oh. Yeah, okay. Then tomorrow's a write-off. Hi, um, I just wanted to say sorry for acting so weird yesterday. You probably understand what happened. Okay, bye. Uh-huh. Nice pudding. Warrior, I'm not sure how the human message system works. I asked the wizard to help me write this letter. I hope you are doing okay. I wanted to share this with you. It's notes on how my people build a certain item. The dark sign. Oh. Yep. Okay. Now, if I recall correctly, I have to hang on to one of these. Uh, what am I even going to pickle? That's four days away. That's such a long time. I'm not waiting four days, at least... Six days, alright. It's, it's not eight days. Four days, okay. So that one's like a little bit out of whack. Oh, wow, I don't have coal. Okay. I guess pickle parsnip. I need to look up what Andy likes. Because I keep messing up his presents. He's always like, what in tarnation is this? Uh, 
Uh, let's check it out. Bia made pale ale, farmer's lunch, butterfish, king salmon, blueberry cobbler. I might go catch him a butterfish. I need to do fishing anyway. That seems straightforward. And maybe just catch a whole bunch of them. So then I can just give them that and then that's easy friendship. Hey, remember kids, you can buy all your friends, yes! Don't give presents, you're not going to have friends, so go shopping. Give in to capitalism, yes. Made up holiday? Oh, yes! To make more sales. Sorry, I was just making a joke. It's, we're still talking about, like, buying friends with presents. I was just saying, yeah, if you don't buy... If you don't buy stuff, then you won't have any friends. Given to the capitalism. I wonder if I could do a Waluigi voice. Like, I feel like Waluigi would be the same as Wario, but like more nasally and kind of whiny. So if Wario is like, oh, yes, then Waluigi would be like, oh, yes. Hmm. I'll have to listen to that later and see if, like, if it's close. <laughs> But, I mean, Waluigi is basically like Nasally Warrior, I think. I haven't heard his voice much, so I guess I'll have to see. There's no games with Waluigi, really, outside of, uh... Like, Mario Party, Mario Kart. There's no game where he's featured as the primary character, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Kind of surprised it hasn't happened. I mean, most characters have gotten their own game, like. Toad has gotten his own game. Peach has gotten her own games. Mario has his own games, of course. Luigi does, Wario does. 
I mean, Bowser... He's been playable character. A playable character in quite a few games. He hasn't had his own game, but like... Has played a major enough role. I think Waluigi's like basically the only one that hasn't really received the treatment. Oh yeah, and Yoshi as well. Like, Yoshi has his own series. I wonder why that is. Okay, well that was one of them. Let's have to talk to Lily. that one. I want the other. Oh, there was a sunfish here. Okay, cool. As long as I'm getting the sunfish. I just need another four. I love how they say overpopulation, but if you look at the ratio of fish that I've caught, it's, it's not overpopulated in the slightest. There's more chub than anything else. Really? Waluigi has a croak in nasal to his voice. I mean, this is one of these things that reading a text description is not going to help. I'll have to watch the clips myself. Because then you kind of have like a frame of reference in your head as to how it should sound like. I mean, even my warrior, I'm sure, is not like correct. It's just... It's within the character's range. I'm pretty sure Wario's, like, real voice is less deeper than what mine is, but, you know, the cadence is correct. Yes, overpopulation. That was the words used. I still gotta get Andy the butterfish. Go get that other fish. I don't want to be doing this tomorrow. Ah. 
Uh, luck is on your side. Feeling lucky. <laughs> what is going on? This is like the fishing competition all over again. How many was that in a row? Like five? Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, over overpopulation. You can see it. There we go. Crap, I'm catching bream now. I don't want to do this tomorrow. Only got 30 seconds and then... That's all it. That's all it. That's all it. Come on. No. Overpopulation. That's what the word used. Alright, well. I need to catch another two tomorrow. It's time to go get Andy's present. He might be at his house, and I might be too late already. Especially if he locks up early. I mean, it's fine. It just would be nice to get bonus points for a present, you know? fish. I was hoping for the butterfish, but come on. That's another dogfish. Come on, stop, 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 stop. Okay. Dogfish, please. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to give his present at this rate. Unless he goes to the bar, which I don't think he does on Tuesday. Yeah. Fish! Ah! Dude. 
It's so exhausting. It's like a legendary fish in itself. Okay. I think that, yeah, this is the butterfish. Okay, is he... Yeah, he's at home. Usually they don't let you in their, their homes after a certain time. So... Oh well. I'll just, uh... I'll just catch a couple. <laughs> I, hate, I hate that fish so much. Okay, there we go. There's another one. I wonder if anyone has a favorite of puppy fish. They might. Black the lie. Hey, come on, dude. <laughs> Ugh, <laughs> so exhausting. Probably do this as the final cast. Oh yeah, this is- this is so much fun! <laughs> Stop it, please. And my eyes are hurting. <laughs> no, I'm not letting- I'm not going out like that. I can't believe that. Fish more trash. Okay. Redemption. There we go. Change my mind. Thought I had something to give the dwarf. Okay, uh... Let me just...
Sophia loves puppy fish. Oh. Oh. Then we keep this. We're gonna give Sophia this. Get the marriage points. That's kind of funny, because I have one in the fish tank. That was before I started the uh, dating. <laughs> we don't have to go to the flower dance, I'm not a fan of dancing. Maybe I can give you a private dance tonight. Oh, right. The flower dance is gonna... I think I can still fish in the town. Yeah, I'd be more down to stay home <laughs> than go to the dance thing. In high school, they tried to do the... I mean, okay, they didn't try. They did this thing. Um, it was like a debutante ball. I'm sure a lot of you have that. It's like a mix of things. And they had all these rules around it. Like, you had to have a suit. All this other stuff. And people were... Now, remember, we're talking about teenagers here. They were spending like five, six hundred dollars on this one night. And... You know, quite a bunch of us were like, fuck that. They were trying to encourage everyone to go. I wasn't going to spend 500 bucks on a night. And th this was like when I had my bad part-time job in fast food. Working minimum wage. It's like, yes, I'm totally going to do that. If they had made it something where it's like, you know, the suit was optional, but you could come dressed in semi-formal clothing, not like a suit, but like a shirt or whatever, sure, but like, they were charging entry with tickets, and then they had the dress code of like the suits, it was such a huge minimum spend for it. So, yeah, instead a party was thrown at the same time as it, and most people from the dead ball ended up coming over to this party. Spent way less money as a collective and had a better time. So the pig went absolutely mental with the truffles. <laughs> a stack of seven, no biggie. Oh yeah, hang on. Got to, got to give her a puppy fish. Oh, she's already gone. Wait, is she? Oh, she's at the town, okay. Well, I want- I still want to catch the sunfish, so I don't have to worry tomorrow. Wait. 
Where is Waifu? I swear she was just here. Where is she? Oh, she's there. She's heading to the bridge. I think she's heading to her vineyard. Yeah, okay. I can I can do that. Wait, don't 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 go don't go don't go don't Okay, good. You got Um what time does the flower dance end? Just a sec. Two PM, right? So we got like roughly four minutes. I forgot who likes rabbit's feet. It might be the bee chip stuff. side of the map anyway. Hmm, do you know what I haven't done? Is this anything? Okay, it's ocean fish. Just curious. Maybe I should see if there's anything specific there. Okay. Flower dance. Uh, we're just gonna run around and talk to everyone quickly. The only person I'll read will probably be... Kent. As everyone else will have the same line. Um... Get the recipe. Get the rare crow. Guess that's it. Okay. First, let's ask Fiel. Hey, you want to eat lots and lots of food with me? Yes, dear. Ask Sophia to be dance partner. Of course, I'll dance with you. Okay.
This open field that makes me nervous. Happy thoughts, Kent. Happy thoughts. <laughs> okay, let's just make sure we talk to everyone. I don't think she was here. What a beautiful day for the flower festival. Because she was stuck in the mountains. Oh, Gunther's here as well. There's a book in the library that covers all traditional dancing. Okay. Let's go. Start it up. <laughs> Still with the Santa hat. Time to go home, alright. Is there anything I can do? I guess... Oh, there you go, there's honey. Tend to the animals. I should make more ponds. I feel like I could make more ponds. I might do that. as well. I'm going to start saving a little bit of coffee. Uh, okay. In the interest of condensing, give me a sec. There we go. Got rid of the basic forage. Oh wait, I'm gonna take the fish to bed with me so then it's there in the morning. <laughs> I can just give it to her. Hold on. I remember there's more. There we go. All 
All right, I mean, decent. Present. Okay, that's it. Good morning, you. I made us coffee. Thank you. I'll be working at the vineyard all day. Cuddles tonight. You pat Sophia on the head. Aww. Wait, so aren't you supposed to get... Oh, no, no, there's still a while to go. I was gonna say. Thanks for the help with the fish. Nature is usually good at keeping things balanced, but sometimes artificial factors can cause imbalance. Then close a blueprint from a science magazine. The farm computer. Strange bomb, okay. It just needs 10 refined quartz, which I guess I can make. Okay, let me take this. Alright, this stack actually. Oh. Get that. I need more, uh... Seaweed. Garlic is ready, but I can't really plant anything in this spot, so nothing's going to finish in time. Same with here. Find quartz out of that. So much petting to do. Oh, the duck's grown up. It's like a mallard now. Hey, and a feather. I know the beach ships are likes feathers. I just have to ship the first one. Oh, I needed to ship that duck egg. Oops. Oh well. Okay.
crafted the computer. I mean, I guess put it here. It says full. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, I'm gonna spend the day fishing for more puppy fish so I can give to Sophia. Hold on. Uh, before I do that, anything dwarven? Yes. And I should take something for Marlin as well. Willy. And Marlin will get like a gem. Alright. I should be able to run into Marlin on the way up. Like, he'll be walking to here. Or maybe he's already in. No, he's over here. Okay. Present. My sword's really taken a bit, and Clint will need to take a look at it soon. They are friendships that I need to progress. I mean, there are some friendships that I will miss there. Are you friends with my son? <laughs> Such a weird question. Hi, Warrior. I was just cleaning some dust off my saw. Have you ever made anything out of wood? Yes. Great, then this blueprint should be a piece of cake for you. I think we've become good enough friends that I can trust you with my carpentry secrets. Here, let me show you the blueprints. Ah, oh, it's the flute and drum block, eh. You can use these to get creative on your farm. It feels good to be able to decorate your house with things you made yourself. Okay. Uh... So hang on. Can I paint the greenhouse? Because it's a particular color. You can't paint the greenhouse. That's unfortunate. Okay. Fish pond. Construct number two. Okay. Okay, guys, you remember your lines? Yes. Ready? Action. I thought we had something special. I guess I was wrong. I, I, uh... Cut! I'm sorry. It's hard to remember my lines when the face is right in front of me like that. Oh, hey. Check out my new camera. Jojico is having a video advertising competition and the prize is 10,000 gold. 
Hey, I want you to be in the shot, okay? Just walk by Clint and Emily in the background while they're talking. It'll give the scene, the scene a little more authenticity. Okay, ready? Action! I thought we had something special. You said you wouldn't leave me for anything. I guess that was a lie. No, it's not like that. This is just something I have to do. It's very important to me. I've just got to try new Georgia Blue Cola. It's got three times the sorbitol for a thick, sweet blast, and it's cheaper than water. Yeah, that's a depressing thought. But, but isn't soda unhealthy? You promised me. Have no fear, my dear. The world-class science team at Georgia headquarters have determined that Georgia Blue does not cause a significant erosion of stomach lining, just a mild one. So you can drink it whenever you like, as much as you like. The real question is, when will you turn blue? <sighs> Cut. That was perfect. Thanks for the help. Clint? Oompa loompa doopy dee doo. <laughs> he didn't puff up though, so they're not gonna roll him off the screen. Uh, eh, can't be bothered. <laughs> it's... It's fine. Okay, he's at his store. I guess I need to start putting crab pots out. To get some of the missing things. Fish. Okay. Just spam the puppy fish <laughs> until I get the star fruit. Oh, it's star drop, not star fruit. I don't know, I think like six should do. That should maybe get me there. Of course, catching him is a whole other thing. Oh, come on! in there long enough. Ah, oh, man. It's so exhausting. Good. 
こう <laughs> Damn poppy fish. Uh Okay, that one was probably the easiest one I've gotten. Just stockpile the doggo fish. Oh, <laughs> I forgot about that tiny fish. That's rarer than- I don't understand it. That fish is rarer, but yet inexpensive. I did say like one more. Come on, one more puppy fish, that's all I want. Okay. Uh, let me check something real quick. One sec. Ooh. This gives wild bait. 
and you put it in a pond. That's one thing I wanted to check, but the other thing is just in general. I want to see if there's anything else I'm missing. Okay, I just learnt of a new fish that I need to catch, but I need to make it rain. Um, there's another one. Shearwater Bridge. Oh. Damn. Wait, what? There's another fish that I haven't seen that, that apparently is in the town. Ah, uh, it's a Jojo route thing. Okay, never mind. But. Okay, so there is one fish that I just learned of that I'm going to go try and catch now. I'm gonna see if I can run into Andy. He's at the bar. Sweet. Present. Now this is really something I love. Thank you. There we go. Oh wow, Warrior. How'd you know this was my favorite? Hold on. This will ape. All right, I won't be able to make it today. It's not happening today. I just looked at the time. By the time I get there, it's not going to work. But I will try to catch it tomorrow. Oh, you're in the dark? Don't overwork yourself, silly. If you need a cuddle break, just ask. Okay. I had to do it. Oh. Now see, I did come here, so then... I guess I just didn't go into the barn.
Uh, I got time, so I'm gonna go cut some hardwood. I forget how much the stable costs. Uh, hold on. Let's see. Ten thousand gold. Oh, it's easy. A hundred hardwood. I can. She's building something already. But I guess that'll be next in line. Oh no! <laughs> I blew it up. Oops. It's the one downside to the explode on kill. I'm just double checking. Cool, so I'm going to the western river in the morning and then in the evening I'm going to the forest. I can complete this. I can get home in a minute. No stress here. Damn. I need to refill this, but I don't think I have the time. Yeah, probably not. Don't want to push it. Uh, okay, game. Oh, she's not here. Pierre's birthday. I think he likes sashimi. Nut calamari, which is made out of squid, wheat flour, oil. Wait, why don't I have flour? Oh, because I sold it all. Right. I mean, I guess I could buy it. Fish stew, George. I need to cook it anyway. Or maybe I have it already. Doesn't seem like it. Nope. Okay. Oh, 
Oh no, I'm short one. Okay, I guess I guess we're fine. Oh, I wasn't short one. I've shipped nine, okay. So I need to ship another six. get any more. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Let's go deal with Pierre's thing. Hey, Figzy. Like the farm? Thanks. Appreciate it. It's going pretty well, considering I haven't played the map before. It's a custom one. Uh, Alright. Oh, it's a cutscene. Oh, it's him. Hey there, Susan. Oh, Andy, I don't see you that often as Pierre's. Jojo has a lot of good cheap stuff, but they don't carry my favorite jerky. Speaking of which, mind grabbing the bag there for me? Sure. Never seen Starter with mods. Pretty good. I mean, the mod in particular is uh, Starter Expander, but then I have a bunch of other cosmetic mods that change visuals and a few quality of life ones. Thank you kindly. Ain't nothing beats this here brand. It's definitely worth the playthrough. Hi guys. Hi sweetie, buying supplies today? Yeah, Pierre always has what I need. Ah, Warrior's here too. Hey. Don't forget me. Ah, would you look at that? All the farmers at Stardew Valley right here. Yeah, yes. You're playing on Switch, don't have it on PC. Ah, fair enough. Yeah. It's great on Switch. Got me through some times when I didn't have internet for a while. Um, I need to buy wheat flour. I'll just get, like, ten for now. Don't want to go overboard. It's fine. You put 500 plus hours into it on PS4 back in 2017. I'm just out of interest. This is just the Steam version. Okay, Steam version, 828 hours, and I would imagine the Switch version is, like, around the same. The island's pretty cool.
Yeah, this is one of my favorite games. Alright, let's go give him the present. Um, I should... Put this in the fridge. Hold on. Okay, just, just making sure that I'm not missing out on this fish that I set out to get. You did everything apart from that stupid minigame arcade. Yeah, don't blame you. That one took me, like, about three weeks of attempts to get it done. The Steam achievement for it. Well, you have to go through the whole thing without dying. Ugh. Okay. I mean, you should do it. Like, eventually you'll get it. It's just... It's luck. Comes down to RNG. You've seen their exploits? I mean... They probably are. The game's not exactly complicated. It's probably like a little, uh... Side project the dude made and then put it in the game. I'm very selective of 100% in games, so the game is something that I quite enjoy, I'll 100% it. Oh, now there's forage here. Like, when I needed it, there was nothing. It did the Soul series 100%. Damn, that's an effort. I haven't played that many Souls games, so... But my brother does it, and it, it's an effort. I've seen what it, he has to go through to get it done. I mean, for me, it's been... Stardew, Risk of Rain 2, Splunky 2... I mean, the Binding of Isaac before the previous update. I feel like I've done other stuff as well. The Crash Bandicoot trilogy. Risk of Rain 2 was... Yeah, that, that was an effort. Okay, so... Guessing it's... Yeah, and then fish inwards. Yeah, the Binding of Isaac yet to play it. Heard it's really good. It is very good. It's one of the best roguelikes there are. Ah. Oh, this fish is already, like, complicated. But it would appear that this is the one I'm looking for. Oh wait, no it's not, it's a catfish. Okay. I mean, more stuff for Willy. Pike. I guess I'll know when I hit it. I don't think I checked this traveling merchant, but it doesn't matter. Summer's in a couple of days anyway. What I'm looking for is... Is gonna be then, so... Yeah, I'm not that fast. Did 
the... Oh, that's something I haven't fished up. I'm kind of glad I did that. But no, like... I guess it's a rare one. Oh, you know what? What if making it rain was a mistake? What if it's altered the spawn of this river? Because <laughs> I'm getting catfish and I think what's happening is... When it's not raining, it's whatever the new fish is. Or at least the odds of it are better. I think I've just ruined the odds. I just tried to do two birds with one stone. I think it's going to take longer. Welp. Have to move soon. Okay, I have to double check this. Forest West. Which yeah, it's it's here. I've caught almost every fish except the one that I'm looking for. I guess it's rare. Um, I do have a lure that brings out rare fish, so I guess I'll try it if this isn't working. Just not yet. What's the fish? It's a new one added by the mod. Uh, it's like a king crimson fish or something like that. No. There's a bunch of new fish. It's got a lot of new stuff in it. Dude. What is this? This has to be it. Catfish do not move like this. There it is. King Sa Oh, King Salmon. What did I say? King Crimson. Oh, that's the other one. Crimson. Yeah, that's another fish. I read the wrong one. Crimson fish is the legendary fish. <laughs> I just mix the two together. Uh, Alright, I got it. Isn't King Crimson from like JoJo's Bizarre Adventure? <laughs> that may have been how I crossed wires as well. No, I mean, the movement pattern is like a legendary fish, but it doesn't have the icon. How much is this fish worth? Oh, okay. I, I like the fish, but I feel like the mod ones are worth too much money. Can I show them up? Uh, sure. Mm. 
Not sure what you can deduce from it. I think it more or less looks the same. It does more fonts. Yeah, it's with the new characters. Yeah, I kind of figured. I can probably already see some differences here. The whole town economy is based on farms, it makes sense to have more than one. Yeah. There's a bunch of stuff they've done that makes a lot of sense. I think there's three in total extra ones. Sophia is one of them. Andy is another, and then who's the third one? Forget Caroline? No, not Caroline. Forget her name. Carol. The one in the north. <laughs> Have I heard anything on Mighty Ape's new game? Do you mean Mighty Ape or Concerned Ape? Um, other than the preview footage, that's all the dude's shown. Like, just a little trailer. Aside from that, not a whole lot is known about it. Anyway, I caught the frog. That was the other one I was trying to catch. It's okay, I, I mix up names as well. Don't think you've seen it. I mean, you can find the trailer on YouTube. It's called Haunted Chocolatier. But that, uh, aside from that, that's all there is for it. I wouldn't expect it for a few years. Especially if he's going down the same, same route where he's the only one developing it. I will fish all the frogs. No, I mean, it's a cool game. I, from some of the stuff that the trailer's shown, um, it's going to have stuff that expands on what Stardew laid the ground on, but it's going to be different to Stardew. It's not going to be a, a Stardew 2, it's something else. Like, I think it's gonna... I think if I was to take a guess, it'd be closer to Moonlighter than Stardew. Which is running a shop as opposed to running a farm. I mean, there'll probably be farming elements, but I think the focus will be, like, setting up a store. Which is what Moonlighter does. And then you explore dungeons. Oh, it's, hang on, it's Friday. Everyone's at the bar, I should take advantage of this. Big social points.
Don't worry about Edgelord. Oh, Willie's already got on a present. Okay. Let's talk to him. Do I just game on PC? Nah, um, I play on PlayStation and Switch. Switch, mainly the stuff Nintendo releases. And I've been playing quite a bit of PlayStation just because of the PS5. Alright, I guess that's all I'm going to manage to do, huh? Do I collect games? Uh, to some extent. Like, I try to get games that I either grew up with or I enjoy. I still have a lot of my childhood games. And I have a way to play them all in good quality, so... A silver one? Ooh. How did that happen? Uh, I guess keep the Dorado, just in case. Oh, even this chest is full. Jeez. Yeah, in fact, this week I got, um, an analog pocket. So that was cool. Got another three days left. The Switch is the ton of fun to collect for. Yeah, I think the only problem I have with the Switch is that the hardware is starting to feel its years, and initially the stuff that came out for it ran well, but the stuff now where it's kind of, if you get the Switch version, it's definitely the inferior version of the game. It just doesn't run. Uh, well, like, uh, I made the mistake of getting a hat in time on Switch. That was a horrible port. I mean, once the game was loaded, it was fine, but it just had a bunch of, uh, issues. Surprised we haven't had the Switch Pro. I'm not. The pandemic basically messed everything up. <laughs> I'm sure that put a damper on their plans. And Nintendo's not one to refresh hardware very quickly. They don't have a, a history of doing that. And I'm not taking care of animals. Yeah, okay. Like, all the rumors you hear in the media, it's just clickbait. And, you know... They know that traditionally Nintendo doesn't do that. Like, refresh their consoles that quickly. Not when they're selling. They pretty much only do it when they're not selling anymore. I'm sure they already have plans for it, it's just I would not expect it anytime soon. All I was hoping for was just like a revised version of the Switch. Not a new version of the console, but one that would have better memory. Just something that would improve the load times, and uh, I would have been happy with that. <laughs> it would disappoint with the new Pokemon games. Yeah, I mean, look. From a gameplay perspective, they're promising, but... When it comes down to it, at the end of the day, po Pokemon is like one of the world's largest franchises. Probably the largest children's franchise. And it's literally a billion dollar industry. And the fact that, like... It's... I don't know. It's... It wasn't a problem with the Switch hardware at all. 
they just don't know how to do quality games and they don't bother because they sell anyway. I'm not sure what kind of animal this is. It's a little chicken. I don't need another chicken. I'm a fan of Pokemon, just, just for full disclosure, right? Like, I grew up with the games as a kid. And I got into them again as an adult. I like them, but... Game Freak just... I'm not sure whether they don't know how to make games, or they don't need to know how to make games. Um, because now they're just kind of on, they're almost like Call of Duty in the sense that they're on such low release cycles. And I mean, there's stuff that I, I think there's no excuse for it. Um, also thank you for the follow, Kamira May. Um, like, for example, and I've seen some of the animations they've added, but simple things like... If a character's gonna eat something, what they used to do was just fade the screen to black. Like, anytime a character needed to do anything, the screen would just fade into black instead of animating whatever they needed to do. Now, in the new games, they do have- they do finally have animations for stuff like eating, but it's- the, it's just a picture of the food in the background, and then they do, like, this weird animation. Um, another thing that I feel like is kind of inexcusable at this point, NPC variety, it's like, they use, they recycle the same trainer model. I'm not talking about, like, the character you play as, but, like, the trainers you run into. So, you know, you'll run into the same child 50 times, instead of making NPCs that have, even if it was just their hair color that changed. Or clothing, right? It'd be fine, but they don't even do that. It's just the same model over and over again. And sometimes in trainer bo battles, they'll just put the two side by side. But yeah, I mean, the ideas in the Pokemon games were great. But in terms of graphics, attention to detail... And, you know, things that make Nintendo games quality, right? They just don't do it. And I, I'm pretty sure it's because they don't have to. They sell well anyway. And it's got nothing to do with the Switch hardware. Like, you look at a game like um, Breath of the Wild, Tears of the Kingdom, Xenoblade Chronicles, right? That series. You look at how good those graphics look for running on a Switch. There's no excuse. And it's not like they don't have the budget. They're not a small indie dev. Quite literally the largest franchise in terms of kids' stuff. So, I don't know. The, on the only way that they're going to improve is pretty much if there's a competitor that does as well as Pokemon. Like, something that is similar and takes off on the same level that Pokemon did and kind of threatens their business, that's the only way they're going to change. That's that's how it is, is, you know, comfort causes complacency. Okay. Uh, my fish pond is ready, so I'm going to go get a stable now. Finally. But yeah, I mean, I, I, I love the games, just wish that uh, the developers were more like Nintendo's other first-party developers, where they take the time they need, it's attention to detail at the highest level, right? Um, have I got a favorite one? I mean, I'm always going to have a soft spot for red and blue, but... I would say, uh, like in terms of content and production, uh, Heart Gold, Soul Silver were the best in my mind. Like that's where I think it peaked in terms of quality. Like I, I, I can't say that they've gotten much better since then. Okay, uh, let me just check how much I need iron bars. Uh, 
Hold on. Where's the carpenter shop? There it is. Uh, stable needs... Where is it? Five. A hundred and five. Okay. hundred and five. That's fine. Then I'll just put fifty back. I don't think I can... Nah. I don't think I can keep split stacking. <laughs> Alright, that's... Um, shit, has Sophia left? I haven't given her the doggo fish. Sophia! No, she's gone. I'll see if I can run into her. You really enjoyed last year's remakes? Yeah, last year's remakes were different and decent. Um... I did enjoy them as well, but they still had their quality issues as well. Same as the aforementioned content. Like, they cut out a lot of stuff that was in the original. I don't think they included the uh, platinum content from memory. But, you know, compared to Sword and Shield, they were definitely a lot better. I played Sword and Shield and ugh. The frame rate issues and then just every time Hop was on the screen, I just I had this sense of dread like, oh no, he's going to talk for 20 minutes and he's going to walk me through step by step. Like, yeah, that was not fun. Oh, that looks nice. I like the look of that. Fear Gold is your favorite. Yeah. I never got to play Gold and Silver back in the day. Couldn't afford it as a kid. But, uh, I got to play Heart Gold and Soul Silver later, and they were, they were great. It's... And not just that, the story behind those games as well was like... Um, the amount of optimization they had to do to squeeze in all that game data onto the effectively the same cartridge size. Um, it's an interesting story. If you want a good one to play, um, whilst unofficial... You can check out, uh, Pokemon Red Plus Plus. That's something I checked out a couple years back and it was really good. Pretty much it's a version of Pokemon Red and it has some of the conveniences that Gold and Silver has, like the running shoes. And then they kind of structured it like, um... More akin to the TV show, where there were certain Pokemon from Gold and Silver in it. But it's a very good version of the game. Where is Sophia? Sophia? Where is Waifu? Oh, you know what? I should go into Pierre's. <laughs> Pierre's stash. Here we go. Let's go, Pierre! They don't say what it is. But good luck buying all the Pokemon games. They're kind of like... At a ridiculous point where they're just stupidly expensive now. Just people on eBay and stuff. Just pricing it. Like as if they're, they're selling like the rarest games on the planet. Like as if the games didn't sell 
millions upon millions of copies worldwide. Quick, give it to me. Promise me you won't tell anyone about this. Okay. The secret is saving me. Thanks, I appreciate it. Just forget you ever saw this, okay? And I'll just forget that you were snooping around in my bedroom. I thankfully had most of the games, like, from that- from the DS era. I think with the exception of the, the original Diamond and Pearl. I had the- I have the main ones, it's fine. But yeah, like, collecting games is such an expensive hobby. That's not what it used to be. There are people that just buy games on bulk and then they, you know, make a business of selling it. At a much more... Increased price. I have no idea where Sophia is. Is she, is she back at home? No, she's at fa Where is she on the farm? I didn't see her. <laughs> oh, you do that? Oh, that's fair. Yeah, I mean... You do what you gotta do to make money, I guess, but... It's just one of these things that, like, the landscapes change quite a bit and there's too many people doing it. I think some of the Pokemon games are like up to $500 for a copy of a DS one, which is just ridiculous. Where is that? It says she's on- she's here. I'm kinda lost. I guess the map's not completely indicative, so maybe she's just in the house and I just need to check inside the house. Oh, there we go. Nice. I don't know, I'm almost convinced that at this point... I don't think regular people are buying games anymore. I think it's pretty much just people trying to make a profit out of games, just circulating these copies of games over and over again. That and streamers. I suppose that the price is also a result of Nintendo just refusing to release stuff digitally again. Because I don't think PlayStation stuff is that bad. In terms of pricing, comparatively. There we go. Um, I guess give Emily an Amethyst again. No, wait, is it Amethyst? What does she like? I guess any, it doesn't matter. People tend to want to collect stuff that's expensive. No one cared for the stuff years ago. I don't know. I mean, I remember when I used to try to find stuff. I think what's changed is just, like, the consoles that you're looking at. I think what's happening right now is just... the era of, like, DS, PlayStation 3, uh, Wii, all that stuff. 
is only just starting to come into like the window of nostalgia where people have probably gotten rid of their consoles and they're older now and they have nostalgia for them and that's why there's demand for it and things are expensive. Whereas in before, like the expensive stuff generally was around NES and that sort of era of things. Like there are some ridiculously expensive NES games out there. So I think in the last few years it's just only come around to like, oh yeah, the DS, that, that thing is like 10 years old. <laughs> It's more than 10 years old now. So, I guess nostalgia sells. Um, I guess I'll get more hardwood to replenish. I know I need more. But yeah, I, I just stick to the games that I enjoy. I don't really have a need of getting games that I'll never play. That's more or less to the extent of my collecting. I haven't really picked up anything physical in a while. I think the last thing I did was, like, this weird PS2 game. I'll probably stream at some point. <laughs> it's need to figure out the logistics around it. I suppose this, is, this analog pocket is, like, counted as collecting, because it is, like, preservation. And now I get to play my Game Boy games in HD. What's the PS2 game? Uh, it's called something else in Australia. I forget what the American name's called. It's one of those games that had a different release title in PAL regions. I'm trying to remember, what was it called in America? Oh, no, it's not a horror game. It's like this weird... Yeah, it's... Made by a well-known developer, but then the game is weird. Hang on, it's behind me. What's it called? Okay. Yeah, the Australian version's called Freak Out, but I know it's called something else in America. It's a weird game. Stretch Panic, it's called. I just remembered. Stretch Panic. Uh, uh, I'm gonna put in a doggo fish in there because they give wild bait. The cover looks cool. Which one? The American or the Australian cover? The gameplay is really, really weird. Yeah, the cover looks cool, but then you look at what the game involves, it, it's quite, uh... Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how, how else to put it. I might put some proper decorations there. Those signs were just temporary so then the cat wouldn't get in that spot and get in my way. Ugh. 
It's kind of interesting because it's not like it's an obscure developer. It's a pretty well-known developer that went to do pretty notable stuff. It's just, I think this is probably their earliest game, if not their first. But, I mean, it's like that with some developers. Like, look at Jazz Jackrabbit and then what <laughs> the people that made that eventually made. You like weird games? Yeah, me too. Not just from a not just from a streaming perspective because it's entertaining, but I've always had this I just like strange media or media that's kind of so bad that it's good that you have this appreciation of it. I've I've always had that, but even before streaming. There's another game that I want to try and get my hands on, but it's probably something that's going to be very difficult to find because I think it's rare just because of the optics around it, but that doesn't mean it's going to be expensive. But um, it was for the PS1, and it was around this special development kit that Sony made to try and encourage indie developers. It was called NetEurosy. It flopped. And not many games were made for it, but this what they did release the games through demo discs. And I remember playing the demo of one, and it's another weird. It's another weird game. Um, it's called Blitter Boy, and the premise basically is that you're in this kind of like arena stage, and you have to rescue babies, and the babies are kind of crying in a corner, and once you rescue them, you know they're kind of are all happy and they start following you. So you're just this character that's running around the screen and then has like a conga line of infants crawling around. And the stage ends once you rescue all the infants on the particular stage. Bizarre concept, but I think it would be like a, a good thing to stream. I think it was called Blitter Boy. Hang on. Yeah, Blitter Boy. Net Eurozy. <laughs> it's so, it's a weird one, Obs probably a little obscure. Greetings, it is I, the Queen of Sauce, here to teach you a new mouth-watering recipe for my secret cookbook. This week's dish... Lucky Lunch. Oh, good. An old legend has it this meal is irresistible to the spirits of luck and fortune. After consuming it, you're likely to attract a good spirit into your belly, where it will bless you with good fortune until the meal is digested. Sounds weird, huh? I can't believe it, but the meal is delicious nonetheless. It didn't get a PAL release? Uh, I don't know. I mean, it doesn't matter. Pal or NTSC is still sort a of way to play it. Oh, that dev kit was like pretty. You have a full set list and it's not on it. No, but uh, it was through Net Eurozy, which is different. It was a. I mean, look at the history of Net Eurozy. It was a development kit that they made. So hang on, let's see. It launched to hobbyists in Japan in 1996 and in 1997 to other countries. So there's a list of Net Eurozy games. And then there's Blitter Boy. Operation Monster Mall, that's the one.
We've made a mighty eight. Yeah, I wonder how they were all distributed. It looks like you need a specific console. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know. I just remember playing a demo of it and it was interesting. Haven't really ever looked into the logistics of it. Uh, okay, traveling merchants in town. It's almost like Lost Media. Oh no, it is, like... This is something where... It would be hunting... I'd be looking for demo discs as opposed to the title. Because I think it was, the whole thing was playable on it. But yeah, I mean, the reason it failed was because Sony put all these restrictions on it so then it wouldn't compete with the real SDK. Yeah, it's just one of those things that's difficult. You know what, I, I wonder if my old PlayStation wallet is still at my parents' house, because the demo disc would be on there. If that were the case. Huh. That might be a way to look at it. Because I had the demo disc. That's how I played it. That's how I know of it. It's not like I read about this or anything. I, I played this game. Maybe when I'm over there tomorrow I can have a, a dig and see if the old discs are still around. They'll probably be damaged, I don't know. At the very least, if I could just dump the ISO, that'd be fine. Oh, I sold the wrong honey. Whoops. I can undo. We're okay. Okay, uh, traveling merchant today. Not that it matters. <laughs> I might go to the mines and just give Sandy a present. And just mine. cheap. It's like on, on the side of cheap. This away, put this away. Let's take her a flower and off to the desert. I haven't been there in a while. I know it's a bad luck day, but it doesn't matter. There you go.
My apples should be coming in soon. I love doing that. Using the ghost to explode them. I might redo my passives at some point, because I think I need coal and the prospect of passive might be better. Just having a higher chance to find coal. And I think it's like double as well. It just makes it easier. I need to also say hey, get in there. Okay, we're fine. <laughs> I need to get uh, more caches. Because I don't really have much of the archaeology stuff for the museum. I got one more stone to find, which I guess I should... Or gem, whatever. Should figure out what geode that's more likely to be in. As opposed to just going for Omni Geodes. Tears for the Edge Lord. <laughs> I couldn't think of anything else to do. Okay, crab pot. That's crab pot. Um, that's void cup. Slime skip. This is all island stuff. It's looking good. And then I guess onwards here is all the expanded fish.
it's okay, just ignore it, just ignore it. <laughs> there we go. Maybe another way I can get coal is to, uh... Like, just use wood. Because I guess that's more viable now since there's more trees. I guess if I was to get the Iridium Axe, it would make that job easier, but I don't know. I don't think I'm going to get it for a while. Like, I think I'm just going to stay true and just go for the hundred grand. It should be achievable once the star fruits start coming in. Call, please. Oh. Okay, this room might hurt. Yes. Okay, there we go. Okay, it's okay. I still haven't made a million. <laughs> It'll get there. I don't know how people do that in one year. I'm sure there's like very specific things you have to do that I'm not doing. I mean, okay, to be fair, I, I have been social and been reading stuff. I'm sure if I went completely antisocial, didn't bother with relationships, you could do it. Okay, mommy, come on. Yeah, I should probably eat this. <laughs> There we go. Better safe than sorry.
Ladder. Come on. Received quite a bit of coal. Wait, what? I can't move! <laughs> I'm stuck! Ah! <laughs> Glitch past it, please! Oh shit. Um. Uh oh. Ah! Uh... Okay, now here's a problem. How do I get out of the mines? Wait, can I just click the ladder? Okay, I can click the ladder. It's fine. Ugh. <laughs> I couldn't move. I was just stuck. Okay, we're out of here. I've glitched started before, it's fine. Not the first time, but that that's definitely a new one. Oh, I don't have the thing. Okay, got a couple of these. Ah, right, I'm good. I can't remember if the geode uh, opener works with, with the caches. I don't think it does. I think that was like a little, little nuance of it. It doesn't? Okay. We'll say hey, cat. Cat, you're not gonna like me, but I'm gonna stop playing. Now, tomorrow is Christmas and I have to get up to pick up my brother because I'm driving. So I gotta make sure I sleep. Unless you've been watching for a while, but yeah. Sorry, but like, it's, it's Christmas, I have to sleep. I know you just got here. Ordinarily, I'd be like, I should, I can do another day or two, but I shouldn't. If I didn't have to drive, I'd be like, sure, but because I have to drive, I need to be awake. I don't want to be tired. But, I mean, it's okay. On Christmas Day, I'll probably play a lot, so... It's just, yeah, tomorrow's Christmas for us. Oh, look, my character collapsed. It's alright, we're on the farm. I didn't pay attention to the time. No, I know you didn't say anything, but, like, I would have done it anyway. Um. Cool, so, I mean, I, I may have lost some money. Unless, Sophia, did you? No, okay. Let's see what it says. Oh, this is a thousand gold. Psh, that's fine. 
Um, and we have a horse now. Look at him. Okay, I'm not going to continue. <laughs> As I said, um, yeah, tomorrow is Christmas for me. It's, the, you know, we celebrate on the 24th and then we open presents at midnight. So that's, I'm going to be away tomorrow. There won't be a stream, so don't expect me around tomorrow. But I'll be on Discord and stuff if anyone wants to message or whatever. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll be back on the 25th. For me, which is Christmas Eve for most people. So, the plan for then, um, in the morning I'm going to do Terraria. As part of the whole Terraria Sunday thing that I've been doing. So we'll do a bit of that. And then afterwards I'm going to show the annual highlight reel thingy. So, it's like the best of 2022. If you're down to see that. And then afterwards, the tradition on Christmas Day is I'll play a retro game from my childhood. So I'll be doing that afterwards. And uh, we'll see what happens after that. I don't know. That's my plan so far. So hope to see you around. And if I don't, then Merry Christmas. And if you don't celebrate that, then well, <laughs> have fun, whatever it is you're doing. Um, just enjoy yourselves, stay safe, and I'll see you in a couple days.